Hello, my name's Lizzie. Oh, hello, Lizzie. Um, just tell me how you've enjoyed uh, Level 3 Faster EFT this week. I've loved it. It's been really good. I've learned a lot. In what way is it different from Level 1 and 2? Um, loads more different. The, it's almost like walking into the rabbit hole and then there's this whole... Oh, I don't know how to explain it. Have you found that it's brought together the techniques from level one and two? Well, um, yeah, it's like all the stuff you see on YouTube, you get bits of in one and two, and you kind of get that Robert there, and then as soon as you get into level three, there's a whole new arena, and there's loads, there's just loads of different stuff that you learn, and suddenly you really step it up, and now it's like, oh, I get what I need to do. Even in one and two, it's like you think you're learning, but I don't, it's like level three, you're like, oh. Wow. And so because you've got the techniques in your head now from level one and two. Yeah. Are you finding that it's clearer when you're watching Robert work, what he's doing when he's working with the client? Yeah, definitely. But level three just really makes me get it. That's because I've been doing it for a long, I've been practicing it over and over. I've been giving people loads of sessions. I've been receiving loads of sessions and still getting it wrong and then on the level three it's like you kind of get how, how to do that i'm hoping because <laughs> i haven't practiced it yet but yeah and have you found that it's level three is more of an experience than level one and two more practice yeah more, definitely more it's loads better it's so much better i love level one and two but level three is just brilliant really really good and how did you find the crossfire tapping brilliant more please <laughs> <laughs> In what, in what way? But the only you... problem is that how are we going to do this at home? I suppose we just need friends around us to work on. But I think it's fantastic for practitioners because we're tough to work with. You know, it's getting those niggly bits. And when you're having two or three people really firing it at you, you have no control. It's going to trigger you like crazy and that's when you're going to clear stuff. And what was the experience like when you was in trance being tapped on by several different people? Really good. I mean, I was triggered. I was really a <laughs> kid. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was brilliant. That's what clears. That's what helps clear me. Um, you know, you find there was confusion past. going on. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was more like. It wasn't confusion. It was anger because that's what it brought up for me. That's what it was. Yeah, triggering, and maybe a bit of shame and guilt. And but so, I'm always difficult to work with because I can just be like almost dead. People are tapping on me going, oh, for God's sake. But this was just making me go, ah! <laughs> so yeah, I just found it really good. And I've since got, um, there was three people who came and did another session with me in the break time and we went and tested it in the lift because I'm okay with lifts but I do have issues in getting in things and feeling trapped and so we kind of tried to recreate that and we used three people to, to cross fire on me then and it was amazing. Right. So you feel you've got some changes? Yeah, from, definitely. From I felt so much more comfortable. Like I was just sitting in the lift and we just stopped it completely. We didn't open the doors and I didn't care. It was like, oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried any other systems of change work? Or in general, apart yeah. from Fast EFT? Yeah. yeah, the work by Byron Katie. And how do you find Robert's teaching methods yeah. compared to the work? Other, yeah, or compared to any other systems? Well, in some ways it's similar because the belief behind it, the fast EFT belief system is the same. It's that we are creating it all and actually it's like whatever we perceive outside us is for us to work on within us. Mm. So it's the same thing, really. Mm. Um, but they're also quite different modalities. So, yeah. And can you think of any improvements that might be helpful in Definitely. the future? Oh, for, uh, with this. For level three? Um, more time. There's just so much to learn. You could almost do this in two weeks because you could do, you could work on um, grief and loss. And then you could have a day where you just tap on it and do more. And you said, and, and you could do um, allergies. Oh, not allergies. What was the one we were working on? Addictions. Addictions. 
Yeah, and then do another day on that and just do more tapping. And Robert was saying there was more stuff he could teach us. Mm. And then by that, the more we sort of practice it, the more we're going to get it. I mean, I feel my only worry now is I'm going to go home and forget what I've learned. I mean, I've wrote as much notes as I can, but it's like <laughs> just seeing it and practicing it really helps. So it's quite intensive. Mm. The amount of information that you learn in five days. Yeah. 